Another thing that I want to mention about clamping is if I go here and get this input and say function clamp for it and set the input between 0 and 250 and then I go and say update the, update the exposure, you're going to uh, see that if I spin the spinner, it cannot go higher than 250. So uh, Magma is actually taking the values of a clamp connected just between a floating point input and another operator. And this floating point input, if it's exposed to the user interface, gets the clamp values and makes them the range of the spinner. So now you cannot go below 0 and you cannot go above 250. Uh, this is a simple way to actually limit your exposed spinners for the end user not to be able to go within valid values. Same for the exponent. I don't want that exponent to ever go below 0. So I can go here, function clamp, and say, OK, minimum is 0 and maximum will be, let's say, exponent of 100 and nothing else. So uh, if I update the exposure, uh, I can now not go below 1 and I cannot go to 1,000, for example. It goes back to 100. 